it's me now welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already i post every day except for tuesday and thursday afternoons and today in this video i'm going to tell you guys a story about how a lady was not very polite to me and my mom about her dog being unfriendly so this is a story just to teach you guys that if you're gonna say like don't say like really bad things if your dog is unfriendly, just say your dog is not friendly. Just don't say exactly what your dog will do to other people's dogs because um, you're gonna act like you're taking over the entire land and also you're gonna scare people by telling, by saying it. And if you say your dog, oh, my dog will go after your dog, my dog will harm your dog. It's really not the nicest thing to say to people when your dog is not friendly. The best thing is just to just say the dog is not friendly at all and um hopefully this teaches you guys how to be mindful of other people and be mindful of other people's dogs so i'm gonna get started so this all started about a couple years ago i think about um eight years ago or so i was in the eighth grade i was it eight or nine years ago i can't remember but um i was going um no um about 10 or so I don't remember how many years ago but this was but this was when I was in the eighth grade um I was going for a um hike with my mom we were taking our dogs um for a hike we had our Manchester Terrier um rec I'm um, not Manchester Terrier excuse me English Setter um I don't know why I'm saying Manchester Terrier because we didn't have Mr. Pickles at the time um our English Setter Rex Rex, who sadly left this world in 2000 when I was a junior in high school, and that was in 2009. Um, our um, Akita Newfoundland, Mr. Knucklehead, who sadly also left the world that same year Rex did. And then our dog Pearl, who sadly left this world in 2015. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel since 2012, you may all remember Pearl. And then we were taking Gabby, who we had, at, who was still new at the time, and she was about a year old. And we were all going for a hike that day because my mom wanted to get out of the house. And when we're there, we noticed this lady walking her dog, and it looked like she had like a black lab or something. I'm not sure exactly what kind of dog. She, I can't remember what kind of dog it was, but I think it was a black lab. I can't remember. And this lady, I think she was in like her early 40s, late 30s. She was walking her dog and holding it on leash. And it looked like he was didn't seem very friendly because I could hear the dog growling. And my mom goes, Mina, pick, the, pick up Gabby, Gabby. And I picked Gabby up. And then I can't pick Pearl up because she's too heavy for me. <laughs> for me and so this lady is walk is holding her dog and trying to control it and he wants to come over and over but she's holding the dog and she goes oh my dog's not very friendly blah 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 my dog will go after your dogs and blah 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 and my mom is does not like this lady's attitude at all and my mom's like excuse me but you sound like you're owning the entire place but you don't blah 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 and the lady is a little bit offended and, it, and I think she was trying to explain that her dog wasn't friendly, but I think she was like saying a little too much information about why her dog wasn't friendly. And we did not like that at all. So the lady um, is still holding her dog and then then trying to get in the car. The dog is like uncontrollably trying to run towards us. I keep hold of Gabby, Pearl, Gabby and Pearl, and my mom is holding on to Rex and Knucklehead, who were our dogs we had at the time. And we're waiting for this lady to leave because she is not very polite and um, we're, we don't want um, to hear her anymore because she was sounded very, very rude about her dog being unfriendly. And so she gets in her car and leaves. And once she is gone, we end up like putting, I end up putting Gabby and Pearl down on the ground. I end up putting Gabby down on the ground and then we end up enjoying our and then we start doing our hike and my mom and I were talking about how we didn't like that lady's attitude about her dog being unfriendly and we thought it was kind of like rude of her to say exactly what her dog would do or like how the dog would come after our dogs and blah 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 and we did not like that attitude at all. But then as we were hiking we just ended up kind of forgetting about it and just trying to enjoy the rest of our hike and not letting what happened ruin our hike. So the moral of the story is if your dog is not friendly, don't exactly say what your dog will do to other people's dogs because you're you're going to scare other people that way and it's not really the best 
way to tell people that stuff. I mean, it's okay to say if your dog is friendly or not, especially if you have kids around. If your dog is not friendly around kids, that's fine. If your dog is not friendly around other people or other dogs, that's fine. It's okay to say that, but just don't exactly say um, that your dog will hurt other people's dogs because that is really not the mo the best way to explain it. And that's a little too much information because you're gonna scare other people off by um, telling them that your dogs are not your dogs will go after other people's dogs and I did not like the way that lady said that so just be mindful about how you say your dog is unfriendly before you um, before other people when other people are around with their dogs dogs because it's not really the best way to say that your what your dog exactly will do to other people's dogs. So that was a story about how a lady was not very polite to me and my mom about how her Dog wasn't friendly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!